Huh? You want to wear your hat backwards? Here's a hat to wear both sides backwards. And at least you'd be clever. Girls want a clever guy, not somebody that imitates everybody else. Do you see? N nobody tells these kids what uh, about women. Nobody tells them about themselves. Nobody tells them about America or the heritage. They just let them go and do their alternative lifestyle, whatever that may be. But where's comedy in this? Because I have to know what things mean. Let me give you an example. This is an Apple computer, but it's not an Apple computer. <laughs> Any more than this is a Batmobile, but it is a Batmobile. <laughs> and when, when you can buy a shoe like this at the mall, that matches a tennis ball, <laughs> you realize the comedy is happening in the audience, right? Are, is everyone dressed as some kind of uh, an actor? Yes, people wear camouflage. I come up and talk to them. They're not from Michigan. They're just pretend. I need this on that. Whoa! <laughs> Although that's a sexual symbol, and that, that whoa is more of a, that's dumb. <laughs> and this is a wood block made out of plastic. <laughs> plastic wood. More of this. It's like a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Have you ever seen that spoon fork that they got there? It ain't a good spoon, and it ain't a good fork. When the flying saucers come and dig up the garbage to see what we're like, or what we were like before we killed ourselves, I'm going to be embarrassed for that spoon fork. Because that'll last forever. That doesn't disintegrate, doesn't degrade. Those spoon forks are there. When our planet blows up, they'll be drifting through space. <laughs> with that little plastic hanger for new socks and you never hang your socks up again. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I'll be proud for that three-pronged plastic thing that keeps the cardboard off the pizza. Now, <laughs> now we're talking American ingenuity, but it's hard to find. America has a tradition of wanting to do the dumbest thing in the grandest way. We put a satellite telescope in orbit out of focus, <laughs> looking for intelligent life. <laughs> well, it's not pointed down. <laughs> the flying saucer saw us send up a repairman. It's just like something a man would do. That's what the women say. Hang a chandelier, put the ladder away, turn on the switch and realize there's no light bulbs in it. Go get the ladder, go back up. Oh, we look dumb. That's why the flying saucers just come down a couple hundred feet until they see something stupid. The Goodyear blimp shows up at games held in dome stadiums. or they see some of the things we drive. All of these people who need a full-size truck that for some reason get these little bitty keychain trucks and have to overload the damn thing because they didn't buy a truck. Even though they needed a truck, mom got the truck money to buy her Hummer damn off-road four-wheel drive thing to go to the grocery store. Them that don't need it, get it. Them that do need, get something else. It ain't a car, it ain't a truck. If you only need a bed that big, get a wheelbarrow, make two trips. <laughs> the dog won't get in the back. It ain't a truck, it's a trick. <laughs> something suspicious about this toy thing. It's full size in Japan where they were originally built. But you can't carry a couch in them, and women sometimes need a man with a truck to move a couch. They don't have couches in Japan. They all kneel around the coffee table. 